you own a Redmi Note 4 or 4X, then you would be glad to know that finally Lineage OS is now officially available for Redmi Note 4 or 4X. Lineage OS picks up where CM left off with the version 14.1, which is based on Android Nougat 7.1. The features are mostly the same except now apps do not have root access but you can root your device by just flashing an add-on file. Everyone loves to have a customized version of Android experience and Lineage OS is one of the best options to customize your Android device from many aspects, including visual and productivity aspect. Talking of visual customizing, you can change the theme, adjust how the notification bar looks, rearrange the notification shade and do lots of things. And that's exactly why today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide to install Lineage OS on your Redmi Note 4 or 4X. Excited? So let's get started. The prerequisites are first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre installed TWRP recovery. Now, if you don't have an unlocked bootloader and pre installed TWRP recovery, then don't worry, I had already made a video on that. So just pause this video and click on the card that pops up at the right corner, or you can also find the link of that video in the description down below. So, first watch that video and follow the steps, then head over to this video. Now once you have successfully installed the TWRP recovery, head over to this page and download Lineage OS from zip file and the gapps package and put it in the internal memory of your device. All the download links will be in the description down below. After that, switch off your device. Now press and hold volume up plus power key at the same time until you see this me logo. This will basically boot your device into TWRP recovery. Now the very first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM. In case you have ended with a boot loop, then you can easily restore your previous ROM. Once that is done, go back and click on wipe and swipe this blue button to right in order to wipe the system partitions and make the device ready for ROM installation. Now after that, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file that we downloaded earlier and select it. After that, click on add more zip and select the gapps package. Now again swipe this blue button in order to flash the zip file. The flashing will take about 3 to 4 minutes. Once the flashing is done, reboot your device. Again, the first boot will take more time than the normal boot, so just relax and wait till the boot is finished. After booting is finished, you have successfully installed the latest build of Lineage OS, so just set up your device and enjoy the latest and greatest feature of this ROM. Now, I am testing this ROM since about 2 days and I must say that the ROM feels pretty smooth and as of now, I didn't face any lag or random crashes. Everything including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, camera, Volt E is working just fine. So if you are bored with the stock MIUI ROM and want to try something new, then I will highly recommend you to go with this ROM as Lineage OS promises better performance. You can get the best output from your existing hardware especially when compared to OEM based ROM you have been using. So guys that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see full review of Lineage OS on Redmi Note 4 or 4X then do subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to get notified as I'll be doing a full review of this ROM in couple of days. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.